Hello supplemental teachers. This is Joe Salvamini, your principal for Carlson Home Hospital School. Uh, I want to go over with you the required paperwork and the procedures in order to enroll a student at Carlson. First, however, I want to talk a little bit about how enrollment is done district-wide. Um, when a student is enrolling in a school, uh, any school, pick the name of the school, when a student is enrolling in that school, what happens is that the parent has to fill out all the paperwork and they can either fill the paperwork out in the office, they can take home the paperwork and fill the paperwork out, um, but once all the paperwork and the verification forms are done, then they can bring all that stuff back you know, with their child and the child can then be enrolled. Um, absent the necessary enrollment paperwork, the student is not able to enroll until we do have the paperwork. It's very important that at Carlson we understand what the process is so that this way we can turn around and we can say, well, we know at Carlson it looks slightly different, a little bit different, but how does it look at Carlson? So the teachers, you, um, when you go to a student's home, you bring the enrollment paperwork to the parent to fill the paperwork out. And then you get that paperwork back to us. Well, in reality, um, we haven't always been doing the greatest job in making sure that students are fully enrolled, meaning that we have all the required paperwork that we need in order to legally enroll that student. So I'm going to go over with you what our procedures are and what needs to be done in order for you to continue working with the student and for the student to be enrolled. Uh, we have a new form that basically is a checkoff list that has information up here, um, has your rep, your name, the teacher's name, um, the date, the student's CSI number, you put that up there. And this right here is a checkoff sheet of everything that you need to have in order for that student to be considered to be enrolled. Now, what you need to do when you first contact your student's parent or guardian, you need to tell the parent or guardian that they absolutely have to be there for your first session with the child. So this way, while you're working with the child, the parent can fill out the paperwork that needs to be filled out. And you need to leave the home with all the paperwork. That allows you, you know, to then go back and continue working with the student. You know, if we don't have the paperwork, the student's not enrolled. Uh, it's that simple. Um, now, now um, uh, what's required with this checkoff list is that when you leave the home, it says, for example, here, meal application. And it talks, let me put my glasses on, it talks about the PAR indicates meal app not needed. Or, you know, it's, let's say, return the paper copy in a sealed envelope with the teacher. Did you have the parent fill out the meal application, you know, while they were filling out all the paperwork and then you left there with the meal application in a sealed envelope? Um, you, the parent completed it online. If the parent completed the meal application process online, then they will be given a district confirmation number. That number goes here. And if there's anything else we need to know about the meal application, you can always write on the side over here. But we need the enrollment discharge form. We need the home language survey form, which the home language survey form, by the way, has some additional information down here that needs to be completed at completed by you, the teacher, okay, and uh, so you want to make sure that you pay attention to that. Um, and and you want to make sure, by the way, that you only use the most up-to-date, the, the most recent paperwork that we have. You can always go to the Carlson Dropbox, 
which you have been given an invitation to join, you can go to the Carlson Dropbox and the Dropbox will always have the most current forms available under supplemental. You look for uh, the enrollment package forms. Uh, then you have things like the family questionnaire, um, the student residency questionnaire, and so on and so forth. Now, what you as the teacher need to do is that when you leave there, you know, leave the parents home, make sure that you have each of these documents, and you check them off, and then you need to fax this back to the office. Once you fax this back to the office to your rep, it lets us know that you have all the paperwork that you verify that all the paperwork is there and that within the next three days you will make sure that that paperwork is sent to the that, that our office receives the paperwork okay um, the original documents are to be returned to Carlson within three days of enrollment I will hand deliver the documents school mail the documents or US mail the documents and you hand you know you fax this back into Carlson at the fax number up here and that allows you to continue working with the student. If for some reason you didn't get the uh, everything filled out, then you need to let us know that as well because we at the office need to make alternate arrangements for us to be able to go out and, and, um, and have the enrollment process uh, finalized. Um, there is a place here for the parent to also sign you know, saying that yes, all this, all this material, all this paperwork is in, is included. It's completed, and the parent signs there. This way, the parent also knows that this is what's needed in order to enroll the child. If you have any questions, feel free to you know contact us. Feel you, you're always welcome to give us a phone call. We're here to support you. Uh, I do want to say that I appreciate everything that all of you do. Um, you make a huge difference with our students. Um, you touch many lives when you're working with our students and with their families, and, um, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you.